Right. I, I would like to know that too, you know, whose blood. I ate someone. Good. Great. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to Sucker for Love, Date to Die For. <laughs> so I am super excited to finally be to finally be playing this game. I was able to get the game early. <laughs> so um I'm going to pretty much be playing this to its full entirety. Um, this is going to be broken up into parts, of course, but I am just so excited to finally be able to play this and experience just the next installment of the series. <laughs> so if you haven't seen my demo playthrough, um, I do have a link to my demo playthrough down below if you want to go ahead and see that before you see this but if you just want to dive right into it just like me let's go ahead and start <laughs> Ooh. oh okay oh survive chapter one to unlock get true endings for chapter one and two to unlock interesting get true ending for chapter 999 okay Okay, so we're doing the whole chapter routes. I like this. I like this. And I like the whole VHS5. The, the, the thousand versus the one. The thousand versus the one. All right. <laughs> I wonder how much of this is going to be from the demo. Cosmic horrors. Things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. They are sequestered to the stars, appearing only through challenging, failure-prone rituals and unutterable incantations. Their twisted, fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows is in an obscure, imperceptible shade, but a tangible madman that the vague prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. The simple hatchet in their hands. God. Did something scary happen? Yes, yeah, something very scary did happen. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> okay, so far it's exact same as a demo in the beginning, but hi twin. <laughs> in the book you're reading, did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Oh, just a strange dream is all. I'm all right. Oh. Sorry, this might sound strange, but can you tell me where I am? You're in my bookstore in Sacramento. Are you lost? We're about to be. <laughs> oh, no, I think I know where I am now. Thanks. I've been having odd dreams lately waking in strange places with no memory of how I got there. Started around the same time folks began vanishing from my hometown, Sacramento. Despite the small size of this backwater town, dozens have gone missing this past year, so many that the trains won't even stop here now. Worried locals say they've spotted angry spirits prowling the woods, Animals with too many features, watching. Outsiders can't shake the feeling of being watched by the townsfolk's unblinking purple eyes. The Sacramento Stare, they call it. Um, have you made a selection? Did you find a book to your liking? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to keep you here late on my account. No, no, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books. But it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you better hurry home. Oh, don't worry. I want to hurry home as quick as possible. <laughs> home. My family fled this place long ago when the disappearances started, but a letter imploring me to come visit appeared in my apartment earlier this week. Hey, Stardust. Mom's still pretty shaken up about everything so i'm taking care of her at, at graham's place if he came by for a, a visit i know it'd cheer her right up and help her feel better we miss you like crazy this is definitely my father's handwriting and only my parents call me stardust impossible mom dad i know you're not really waiting for me 
you've been gone for over a year, but whoever sent this note obviously wants me to come po poking around, and I aim to find out why. There's something strange in Sacramento. The dreams, the stare, the spirits. It's all connected, I'm sure of it. Whatever darkness has settled in our neck of the woods, I'm putting a stop to it. Mom, Dad, I love you both so much. I'll get to the bottom of this. Thanks for letting me doze off. I promise I'll come back real soon. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. The warm glow of the bookstore fades behind me as I step out into the dusk. Sacramento. This should be my hometown, but it's become unrecognizable. The streets are overrun with dense foliage and missing person posters that that li litter every surface. They call this missing person lane now. They call this missing person lane now. Desperate searchers put up posters here before vanishing themselves. It's the only path left and leads straight to my Graham's house, but something feels off. The familiar landmarks of my childhood are nowhere to be found. Have I gotten turned around? No, I've walked in, in a straight line, yet nothing looks right. Stay calm. I pick a direction and jog, searching for anything familiar. Nothing changes. I, I double back, check walls and addresses, still lost. Maybe if I check the note from my parents for the address. A grocery receipt? Impossible. I just had their letter. I even kept my pockets empty so I wouldn't lose it. Wait. This receipt has the exact dimensions and folds as the letter. Could I have imagined the whole letter? No, impossible. I checked the back. And then I double checked the front, but the receipt remains just that. Something is very wrong. I have to get out. I have to run, have to. Hey! Ow! Uh, are you like blind or something? Watch where you're going, Klutzerama! You see, this is where we run, Stardust. <laughs> we should just dip. <laughs> I slammed right into somebody coming the other way. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you all right? I should have been more careful. Whoa, she's really pretty. But what on earth is this girl doing wandering around Sacramento at night? Don't touch me. I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to smack into you like that. I know it's not an excuse, but I was just in a rush. <sighs> oh yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? Yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. See, no one wants your man. <laughs> Wait, huh? What? Your... Your boyfriend? Yeah, you heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is mine. And Buck can stay yours. <laughs> Who the heck is Buck? Where are all these accusations coming from? I don't know anyone named Buck. Huh? Really? You don't know who Buck is? Yeah, you see? And she has to stare. And we need to go. <laughs> You're not, like, from out of town, are you? No, 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 no. I live here. The stare. It's real. I turn my head down and briskly walk past her. She starts walking alongside me. Hey, look at me. No, 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 no. You're... No, we're fine. I can't let her see my eyes no matter what. She'll notice I don't have the sacramental stare. You can tell me. <laughs> Are you from here or what? Yeah, I am. Yep, just, just minding my own business and you should mind your damn business too. Let's just go. <laughs> I live here. Oh, yeah? Look at me really quick. No, we don't need to. This is bad. Even if I make it home, she'll know where I live. What do I do? Look at me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
you see like i love how i still get jump scared even though i already played the demo and this is part of the demo but god <laughs> Oh god, the jump scares are the jump scares jump scares in this game is still gonna get me. I freeze. Before I know it, I'm already staring straight at her. <laughs> Bucky, hi. Got another one for you at missing person lane. Oh Jesus. I break into a mad dash, running my hardest. Everything is a blur. My heart pounding in my ears can't dull out the sounds of whistles, shouts, and unidentifiable a commotion coming from all sides. Panting and dizzy, I feel my body slowing down, but the image of my face on the next missing persons posters kicked my legs into action once more. There, a clearing up ahead. If I, I can break their, li their line of sight, I might find a chance to hide. As I near the turnoff, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end or it's too dark to find my way, I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. Rounding the corner, I gasp. It's Grandma's house. Thank goodness. I dash up the path and burst through the, and burst through the, through through the door. <sighs> and this is where the nightmare starts, man. I hold the door shut for what feels like forever as my pulse slows. The pounding footsteps pass by outside. I'm safe for now. <sighs> hey, what? I may just be standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my home. Like the warm, f f a familiar place I grew up in is long gone. I can't put my finger on it, but this dread. Why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? Hello? No response. Oh God, okay, yeah, this is where I freaked out because like, unlike the other games, you have free reign to turn your camera, like free. <laughs> and this is like the most nerve wracking thing. God, anyways. Ooh, 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 hearts, yes. Anyways, um, hey, let's open up our map. So this is where we are. <laughs> and we have to get to the room. This is where we need to get to, so. <sighs> God. Oh, let's start exploring. Oh, all right, let's go into the tatami room. Oh yeah, that's right. And then we have to, ah! <laughs> we have to physically open doors and go in. Oh, God. I hate this forced feeling so much. All right. It's Tommy Room. I'm exploring again just to familiarize myself with the area. Yeah, lots of blood. The birdcage where my gram gram kept her finches, it's been destroyed from the inside. What do you mean destroyed from the inside? So that thing is out loose? I don't remember that. So you, so so that that thing is out loose is what you're saying. Oh yes. Fresh dripping meat. I should avoid counting the number of legs. Right. Okay. Ooh. The blood in the bowl is an odd color. I'm a bit relieved. It's probably not human blood, but then What's in all these bags? We don't talk about what's in the bags, all right? They're, they're not human, as we concluded, right? Definitely not human blood. <clears throat> oh, unusually pungent spices, pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and c c cinnamon, to name a couple I see. The air is almost suffocatingly thick with their scents. Right. Anything else? This is me just like excavating and exploring real quick so I know what's where. <laughs> oh, it looks like a cooking oil, except it's in a gallon container and it smells like burnt hair and sulfur. The color is black as soot, too. Oh, and our little cute facey friend. 
what's that terrible smell coming from the fridge? I can't bear to open it. All right, that's it for this area. Okay, let's go up this way. Ah, yes. Hello, room. Anything of interest here? No, just a messy room. That's it. See, I think swiping, though, like, really quick helps. Hmm, that's odd. I could have sworn we only had one futon downstairs. Where do all these extra beds come from? And why are they all laid out like this? See, your futon is, um... Probably futon of... Futon of, um, sacrifices. Maybe. <laughs> Cripes. W what a mess. The place has been turned upside down, but nothing is missing. Weird. Nothing is missing. Weird. Ooh, weird, you say. Ooh. Looks like the triplets toys have been mostly untouched e ever since we left in, in, in a hurry. Ever since you left in a hurry, you say. All right. Let's go into the Endawa. Right? That's what it was called. And en en Endawa. All right, um... What's at the end of this hall again? Oh, a dead end. That's that's what was at the end. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. God, this is such a creepy perspective, man. Okay, so... That goes downstairs, down in the basement. That's where the TV area is. Okay, so let's just go ahead and explore to where we're supposed to be before I go places that I shouldn't be. Right, yeah, let's go in the hallway. Oh, yes, bedroom. Okay, that was weird. My game kind of froze. And I got scared that it uh, crashed. <laughs> All right, um, bedroom. Oh God. My room. What on earth happened here? The occult, n this occult nonsense. Has someone been living in my house? The candles are still lit. Whoever is responsible was just here, but who, why? This book isn't mine either. No title, no author, and it reeks of death and decay. With trembling fingers, I open it to a random page. Seeding the Black Woods. Instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using remains of a goat and the beating heart of a human. The beating what? I read and reread the passage, but it's plain as black and white. The beating heart of a human. I reread again and again, my disbelief washing away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. First, the stare that only the locals have, then the disappearances, then the supernaturally overgrown woods, and now this? The truth dawns on me. Sacramento has been overrun by cultists. All those missing people, my parents, they haven't been spirited away by angry forest spirits. They've been abducted, and I'm next. There must be a way to stop this. I flip desperately through the book's pulsating pages, searching for anything that might help. Summon the All Mother, a ritual to force the dark deity behind the madness to physically manifest before me, binding her in a form that can't directly harm me. This is it. My chance to end this nightmare once and for all, to face the the a sinister goddess behind Sacramento's madness and put a stop to her evil, whatever the cost. For the sake of everyone who suffered and died, I have to try. I'll bind this all mother to a, a physical form and destroy her. Looks like I already have er everything I need to try. Um. All right, 
Let's go ahead and start this ritual. This ritual will bind the black goat to a physical form that can't harm you. However, no contact with elder, with elder gods is completely safe. To summon her, do the following. Douse any lit candles. All right. Ensure there is an idol of the black goat present somewhere in the room. It looks like an idol of a goat, only it has too many legs and too many eyes. It weighs a ton too. How'd this get up the stairs? All right, check. Have a plant mister with you. Plant mister, you say? Ah, there is one. You found the plant mister. At certain times in conversation, this icon will appear and you can spray the speaker with water by right clicking. This will interrupt whatever they're doing or saying. Oh, believe me. I had fun with this in the demo. <laughs> this feature was primarily included in considerations of players who dislike being hit on by older woman Eldric abominations, but it has other uses too. Ah, yes. I can't wait to spray the thirsty off of the Eldric god. <laughs> While facing a tree of the Black Woods, chant her name. All right, this definitely looks like a tree of the Black Wood. Roxan Selva Oscura. All right, let's do this. Roxan Selva Oscura. Mortal, you dare summon me again? Have your pathetic lives not been extended long enough by my gift? Have your lusts not been sated? Must you continue to torment your goddess so? Hi, Roxanne. <laughs> My heart pounds as an immense towering figure materializes before me. My head is splitting open. I can't think, can barely breathe with this weight crushing down on me. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Roxanne, the black goat of the woods, and you will rue this day. Madness given form, shredding my sanity with each s s second that passes. It's evil, ancient, and endless, peering into the deep parts of me that were never meant to be seen. You tread on dangerous ground, little lamb. Know that each time you summon me, my wrath grows. I will make you rue each second of agony you have inflicted. Now, choose your next words carefully. What more could you possibly want of me? Speak! Um... I have to banish her, to send her back before there's nothing left of me, but the words I need won't come. Did I really think I could face a power like this? Stupid, stupid girl. With the last shreds of my will, I cling to the thought of why I came. Why I dared this folly. I swallowed a bile and... and and t a terror straighten my spine grab a candle from the floor and speak shakily I i'm here to stop you from hurting another soul i'm sending you back to the darkness you crawled out of one way or another really uh yes <laughs> um yeah <laughs> okay we're still on the same page cool <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. I thought this nightmare would never end. All right. Um, aren't you supposed to be, like, trying to stop me or something? No, I'm into this. Get me out of here. Yes, thank God we're on the same page, because if we weren't, oh my God. <laughs> my brow furrows as I stare at her. Wordlessly. Isn't she supposed to want to, you know spread madness and whatnot you're confused yes very confused well yeah you want to be exercised banished <sighs> yes i'm rooted to your planet and cannot be removed without a human's aid i don't understand you have so many followers F followers that just tried to kill me i might add can't they free you instead? Things have gotten messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. My followers have turned against me and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. Have pity on this old, tired goat and banish me so I can't trouble humanity any longer. Please, help me. 
I rub my temple. This is tricky. On the one hand, I came here to banish her. This corrupted forest is devouring this town, and who knows how much... How, how much farther it, it'll spread if nothing's done. On the other hand, I have serious reservations about helping an eldritch god do anything. All of those missing people posters, she's responsible. She and her cult are pure evil. But for now, we want the same thing. Her gone. Alright, tell me how to do this. Do I just grab any old knife and... Your mortal weapons can harm me, child. But they cannot stop me. But that book you carry, it holds the key to my banishment. Perform the rituals in order until you arrive at the uprooting ritual. That one will banish me for good. You see about that, though, um... The rituals. <laughs> they're gonna- I feel like they're gonna be so stressful to perform, and I wouldn't be surprised if we're gonna have, like, a time-gated situation, and god. First things first. You will need a partner. I am a goddess of lust. So, many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mate, your heart's desire. Perform the spawn partner ritual on the next page. Alright. Next page. Spawn partner. Light the ritual candles. The color of the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comforting. Alright. This is the black flames. I like the black flames. Okay. Have your choice of an aromatic herb on your person. Pick a scent you find pleasant. An aromatic herb. Uh. I only have the spray bottle. Oh, 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 oh. Take rosemary, take lavender, take mints. Hmm. Lavender, mints. Let's do lavender. I like lavender. All right. Hi, Roxanne. So these followers are kind of like jealous ex-boyfriends then? You want nothing to do with them, but they won't let you leave? Actually, yes, that's precisely right. They're like my exes. And using the same metaphor, if you try to date me, then my exes will hack you to death with farm tools. Right, of course, of course, that's, that's what happens. I Guess that last part wasn't a metaphor. Yeah. Maybe I should get back to the rituals then. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, yep. Thanks. Thanks, Roxanne. <laughs> okay, imagine your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. <laughs> oh god. Chant. All right, let's do this. Hi, Roxanne. Apparently, you are my ideal partner. <laughs> Wait, I can explain. Go ahead. <laughs> Our explanation, Stardust. I've got nothing. <laughs> what is wrong with my taste? <laughs> There's no need to be bashful, especially after all that time you spent playing coy. In view of the circumstances, perhaps I will allow you to be my partner. Oh, thank you. <laughs> really? And that's okay with you? Even though we just met? Well, it's sudden, and it'll be a long long time before I could ever trust a human again, but I'm not exactly the god of taking things slow. Right. Um, but you see, I'd rather to take it slow with these rituals so I can survive. <laughs> Besides, I already have a thousand children. <laughs> There's no harm in a thousand and one. Okay, you see, that's a lot of children. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? Taking me as your partner? I thought you, you were talking about just being my girlfriend. You thought, <laughs> you thought the 
two definitions of partners that a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning? We are a simple creature, <laughs> Roxanne. <laughs> There's three meanings of partners. What's the third? Cowboys. <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> Are you still joking around while standing so close to me? You should be melting with desire. Being anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousandfold. Oh, that's an easy one. That's an easy one. A thousand times zero is zero. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? Yeah, we we are as platonic as you can be. We are platonic incarnates. <laughs> Yep. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? Nope. And you you aren't with child now? No. You're going to die here, and there's nothing I can do. <laughs> oh god. What? I thought we were trying to get you out of here. You're you're just not going to help me because I don't have kids. It's not that I won't. It's that I can't. I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential, and I want a big family, the biggest family possible. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. Those that best serve that goal receive a fraction of my power. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans, rapid healing, physical enhancement, and in some cases, immortality. And those followers are the ones looking for you. Of course, it's those specific ones, of course. You, on the other hand, have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable. No kids, no powers. What if I don't want powers or kids? What if I drained the life from your body and then used it to fertilize my wicked soil until something that will give me grandchildren comes crawling out? Can I get the spray bottle, please? <laughs> I take an involuntary step backwards. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Are you all right? Barely. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Powers or not, let's move on to the next ritual so we can get out of here. Okay? Mm. Holy moly, that was freaking scary. She's really taken this hard. I'd better go get the stuff for the next ritual. What about the map? Oh, kitchen, thanks. All right. Ahem. Light the witch ritual candles. The color of the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comforting. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, that's spawn partner, my bad. All right, ooh. Epicurean feast, yes. Collect the following. Meat from a living thing that died within the black woods. Check the meat rack in the dining room. Milk of the black goats. Store bought 2% is apparently fine too. It's in the fridge. Lastly, a receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. Blood, they, mean, they meant blood. Please use blood from now on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh god. Chant while facing red fire candles. Alright. Uh, purple, yellow. Okay, so red candles, and we are gonna go... You have anything to say? Hey, you're basically a god, right? An outer god, yes. If these cultists have been bothering you, c couldn't you, I don't know, fight them? What kind of mother would I be if I harmed my children? Point taken. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I can't do anything to hurt my followers directly. Because never in my wildest dreams could I hurt a human. But maybe doing no harm isn't the same as doing good. I mean, you could just like, I don't know, like, like give them pow pow or something. <laughs> Throw a chunkla in their face. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go down into the kitchen. I'm gonna try to do this by memory. I think I know where I am. 
that is not the right room. Let's go back. <laughs> that is definitely not the right room. Where am I? <laughs> I'm lost now. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going the wrong direction. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go back into the Ngawa. Right. We were supposed to go this way. Oh, that was a little scary. Okay. Aha! I tear a chunk of meat from the hook. This should be what I'm looking for. It smells kind of strange. Is this beef? Pork? Whatever it came from, it was huge. I should move on before I count the number of legs hanging on the hooks. Yep, guarantee you it, it, it is a human human thigh, most likely. A receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. Blood. An unsettling amount of it. This is what the ritual calls for? Apparently so, Stardust. This is exactly what it calls for. Ugh. All right, kitchen. Uh, fridge. This is the milk of the black goat. It just looks like a regular carton of store-bought strawberry milk with a label slapped on it. I guess the cultist would have a hard time getting the real thing from Roxanne now that their relationship has soured. No pun intended. This should be good enough. A chill just ran up my spine. Am... am I being watched? I have ever I have everything I need. I need to get out of here fast. Right? You're right. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yup, speed run this this thing. Alright, let's go. One. Two. Oh. Oh wait, where? Oh, we're at the 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 front there it is okay because we're, we're about to go into the front entrance the genkan uh let's go into the engawa and then we go this way and then we go upstairs and then we go right back into our room hi roxanne i'm back okay all right i have everything Right, yes we do. We got everything. Now chant. Aragor ya piach bok nyopnya. Ah, well done. Looks like you did everything perfectly. Impressive. Oh. Yes, thank you. I know we we are awesome and that food looks delicious, by the way. Nothing to it. If all the rituals are this easy, I'll have you out of here in no time. <laughs> Perhaps so. I, um, I don't want to leave things as they are between us. Your life is your own. I'm sorry for losing my composure. Oh, that? I nearly forgot about that already. I'm a little surprised a literal god would bother apologizing to a human at all. I've given it some thought. And while you may be blasphemously abstinent, you're the only person in the world that can help me. You see, if you step within range of my woods... Any desire you have that will lead you closer to me is amplified to such an intense degree that it's unbearable. And most of the time, it's lust. Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the Sacramento Stare and becomes a cultist. If you are brought into my woods for any other reason, you don't become one of my chosen thousand, and your desire will make you futilely search the woods for what isn't there. You'll forget to eat and sleep, and you'll search and search until you die of exhaustion and become fertilizer for the woods to grow further. You're the only person to reach me without joining the cult or dropping dead. Thanks in no small part to the fact that you don't have lust to amplify. My only question is, if you're not here for lust, why are you here? I pull the receipt out of my pocket. I came looking for my parents. 
They vanished s somewhere around here a year ago. This used to be a letter from them saying they were here in, in this house, but once I got here, it turned into a blank receipt and won't turn back. The woods have indeed toyed with your emotions to bring you here. That paper was likely never a letter from your parents, but the woods made you believe it was. I'm sorry. Those darn woods. <laughs> so, they're just still gone. They were likely consumed by my woods no more than three days after they disappeared. Right, that's depressing. I feel like I've been punched in the cut. The dust has long settled on my parents being gone, but the grief never faded. Eat. It'll give you your strength back. The woods won't let you feel how tired you are. See, I don't know about that, Roxanne. That doesn't look very, um... See, it, it looks tasty, right? But it... it did you see where I got that from? I don't feel tired at all, but come to think of it, I felt like I was going to collapse when I made it to this house. I don't think I've eaten since I, I've got the letter either. I take a few bites and the tears abate. There, there. It'll be all right, Stardust. Stardust? How did you know my parents' nickname for me? Anything that dies within my black woods becomes a part of it. A part of me. Their memories of you likely live on in me. I mean, it's good that we have closure, that, that, that we know our parents are dead. But god, this still hits, like... <sighs> I guess that settles it. My parents really are gone. That's the only way she could know that name. This isn't the kind of closure I was hoping I'd find here, but I came here to put an end to the disappearances, and that's what I'll do. Um, I hope this isn't an offensive question, but all the missing people and the people that came looking for them, y you killed them all? It was never supposed to be like this. I came bearing gifts of safe childbirth for infant and mother, hungerlessness, disease immunity. But instead, my own worshippers tormented me until it broke my hearts. Now my woods are bloodthirsty, and I'm forced to watch innumerable die. But why? How could somebody do something like that? How could somebody have so much hate in their hearts? Because it's had an eternity to accumulate. What was that? It sounded like something breaking downstairs. Oh god, okay. I actually have to go through this. Oh god. Already? No, 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 no! I forgot. Roxanne is just as scared as I am. I need to be more careful with showing fear for her sake. It could just be the house. The place is old and rotten in some places, so sometimes the house, the house shifts on its own. I take a quick look around my room for the sturdiest thing I can find. They left my bass guitar untouched. I'll check it out. It sounded like it came from the kitchen. What? Okay, wait! Okay, wait, no, this is all new! Okay, okay, we are reaching new territory here, okay. We are reaching the new territory. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, so we gotta go to the kitchen. Oh. Oh, but I get to attack. Oh, vroom. Mm. Ooh, I get to attack. Roxanne, can I talk? No? Okay. Oh, let's go start us. Oh, oh. We, we're gonna turn some people to dust tonight. <sighs> no pressure. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. No pressure. What's the... Oh my god, that... That is such a huge delay. There is there there's quite a bit of lag in that. That's fine. One, two, we got this. Okay, map. One. Straight, straight. Okay, yeah, straight, straight. Okay, we got this. We got this. Straight. Straight. <sighs> okay, Stardust. Okay, Stardust, we got this. We're going in the kitchen. Nobody's here. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. 
It could have just been the house... The house settling, like I said. <laughs> Did I... Please tell me I hit them on time. I think that hit knocked them out cold. Because I immediately pressed. I pressed that so quick. <laughs> That made so much noise. I can't afford to stick around, but I don't feel good about letting this maniac wake up and ambush me again. I'll tie them up somewhere. I can keep my eye on them. Or we can just kill them, Stardust, and they will never bother us ever again. Why is that knife covered in blood? I can't for the life of me find a wound anywhere on my body, and I certainly don't feel any pain either. I grab a hold of the scruff of the cultist's collar and drag them a short distance. They feel unusually light to carry, but my left arm can't produce any force. What's going on with- Um... What was that? That vision, no matter how- no matter how much I focus, I can't bring it back. Just like the fake letter I received. Are the woods concealing my my injuries from me, so I can't tell when I'm about to drop dead? I sling my base over my shoulder by its strap and drag the cultist with my right arm alone. I'm sure this would be torture if I could feel pain or exhaustion. Right, so the woods is just suppressing everything. Okay. Oh god. Okay. We gotta go back to the bedroom. Um. One, two, three. Okay. One. I think this is to the Ngawa? Yes. God, this place is so disorienting with, without a map. <laughs> okay. Roxanne, it's fine now. Just one of your children just try to kill me. I'm back. Welcome back. What is that? Don't worry about it. Bass guitar. <laughs> not that. The dead body. Oh, no, 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 no. They're, they're not dead. They're just severely unconscious. Oh, they're alive, actually. You took one of the thousand alive? And then brought them here? You got a problem with that? This is... Very good, actually. Now you have a blood sacrifice if you need one. But we're not gonna need one, right? What... what did you say? Some of these rituals require blood or human... participants. Having someone knocked out and served to you on a silver platter makes things much easier. Right, of course. Of course it, it, it has one of those kind of rituals. I didn't drag them up the stairs so they could be sacri so they could be a sacrifice. I tie their wrists together behind a load-bearing post in my room. Now, I'm an outer god, so my moral code is completely different from that of humans. But didn't they just try to kill you? Well, yes, but I mean, we we don't have the heart or ability to kill. Okay, Roxanne. <laughs> And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised because she looks kind of familiar. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a girl from the beginning that was chasing us um, with, with, with the Sacramento stare. Maybe, but under that mask, this could be someone else who went missing. I can never put someone through what I felt when my parents didn't come back. Or it could be the librarian. I don't know. We'll see. The mask is snug against the cultist's face, but with a firm yank. Her? What did I say? Ooh, what did I say? Uh, ooh. Uh... Nanny! Uh... Right. You! Oh, you're that klutz from Missing Person Lane! Yeah, yeah, you're, you're the one who chased me and then tried to just kill me now. <laughs> You worthless lamb. We'll kill you. You'll never escape from this town alive. Y 
<laughs> Sheesh, maybe I bonked you on the head a little too hard. It's not that. She has the stare. Her lust for the leader of the thousand, Buck, has been amplified a thousandfold into blind fanaticism. <sighs> I mean, can I, 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 I want to spray her multiple times. <laughs> hey, don't try, don't try to wiggle out, out of that. I don't want to have to hurt you. I just needed to make sure you couldn't attack me again. You think you can steal my book, bash me over the head with a guitar, tie me up and get away with it? Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> what did you expect to thank you? <sighs> She's long gone. Well, rip her, I guess. I guess it would be okay to sacrifice her at this point, right? It's pointless trying to talk to her. If you're insisting on keeping her alive, just do us both a favor and keep an eye on her. If you have to look away, don't turn your back on her for too long. I do insist on keeping her alive. If she has the stare, then she didn't choose this. She's just another I innocent person who got tricked into coming here. Hey, if you just stay put for now, then I can just let you go after I'm done here, okay? Drop dead. All right, okay, those are fighting words. You are going to die the minute I have a ritual that specifically asks for a human. You, you are first in line, all right? I sigh and return her mask to her. First things first, I need to do something about my arm. Roxanne, can you fix my my arm, please? Can you kiss it? Or not? Okay, let's see. Next one. Oh, rejuvenate virility. To heal injuries, place a gold skull over your face and light green fire candles. All right. We have the gold skull on our face. Light green candles. Okay. <sighs> Ensure this symbol is drawn nearby and face a mirror. Uh, wait, what is that? Oh my God. Oh, interesting. The woods, the woods fatten themselves on us the dead feed the woods the living feed the woods whose blood is the tree bleeding right i i would like to know that too you know whose blood i ate someone good great i'm glad you ate somebody <laughs> okay anyways um it sure this symbol is draw binder by mirror All right. If the intended target isn't the caster and isn't deceased, draw this symbol instead. Face them. Chance. All right. All right, we're ready. Oh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. This is a mirror, right? Okay. All right, that should do it. I inspect my arm, but I still can't tell w w whether I'm in pain or not. I can only hope I'm not still bleeding out. That about handles my injuries. Hey, um. What? Would you like me to heal you or, you know what, Stardust? No, let's not help them because she's a bitch. Your name is Nani, right? I'm going to give you your mask back so that you can do the ritual too. I bet that lump aches, huh? What? The one you gave to me? Yeah, and remember, you nearly killed me and sliced my hand, so I don't know why you're complaining. I didn't mean to hurt you, I swear. You came at me. I was just defending myself. Look, you're hurt. Let me help patch you up and we'll call it even. Deal? Like, barf me out. Here. Now chance. The bottom of the page. I know how to do it. Or not. 
The goth tog, like you gobnor grins bada. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Better. <laughs> this is gonna come back to bite you. Just wait until I break free, then you're toast for real. Right. You say that, but right. Okay, perform rot bloom. But unfortunately, we are out of time here. <laughs> so, oh, okay. I we are in on new content, and this is this is going to be wild. <laughs> but um, so far, I am enjoying this very much, and I just can't wait to see. Just I guess how much more of I guess combat situations will be in because we have a guitar. That's actually cool. We have a guitar and we're about to bash some faces in. <laughs> um, but yeah, next episode, we're going to go ahead and perform the rot bloom and do all the other rituals. And yeah, see, see what, see how this concludes and explore more of a sucker for love date to die for. <laughs> you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. -yous. Just gotta find Gregory. Everything's fine. We just gotta find Gregory.